This is definitely the floor. The hospital's Whoa. Over right now. I hear you. But imagine how safe it feels. When you said hospital, I actually, I actually imagined, I thought post-apocalyptic because end of the world thing. No, still to see. Who wouldn't they? They see it. I'm a little nervous. Just go in there and be a friend. I'll be out here so you can talk by yourself. I would have told Vic for blowing a fuse when you answered Pete's call the other day. Good thing you ignored me. I had no idea what shit she was going through. And you saved her. Like me. I'm sorry. Thank you, I don't be sorry. We're all on the same team. Team Max. Right, Kate? Now we're gonna string Nathan with ice balls. Oh yes, <laughs> I want it. Yeah, we are on Nathan's ass like a fucking moth. Uh, there's a fucking house on fire. We might even set his ass on fire. Everything fine. Yeah, I attempted three times. Thank you, Kate. There are so many people who love you and want to help you. I know. You should see all the letters and postcards. I gave most of the flowers to other patients here because they need them more than me. I'm yeah. making a balloon with them. One of the nurses gave me some pen and paper so I could do some drawings. I love your illustrations. They got kind of dark there for a while. I have an idea for a new children's book about bullying. I was thinking of having some photographs in there too. I hope that the you need me to supply them. Was that subtle? You better take the pictures, Max. <laughs> I'm going to be here for another day until my family comes out to visit. How are they treating you? Like they need to protect me forever. They're so upset, and I know they feel guilty even though they didn't do anything. I was surprised how many students. We need to get that video taken down. Mr. Jefferson, even Victoria wrote me a very sweet note. And I believe she was being real. Me too. I'm glad you believe again, Kate. I'm working on it, Max. I just pray I can get this drawing right. I want to look at this drawing. <laughs> I love Kate's happy rainbow clock. I miss my banana. <laughs> oh my god. Boy, god. Yeah, that definitely looks like a bored cat. Or a dog. <laughs> that, that definitely looks like a bored cat. Where is she? Walk, walk. Yeah! <laughs> that was great. Uh, no. Nah. What's that about? Is this book? Where are you? I'm in a hospital, and I imagine post-apocalyptic hospital for some reason. I don't think it well is quite that problem. Mm -hmm. I, I think that's the problem that's not here that problem as well. Should just get the through the night? So be it. Um, the Jesus so is in the room. Was. And from Kayla? Uh, 
Yeah, yeah that is a start. Next, we just need to beat the shit out of him. Uh, Prosco family. I think his family is totally protecting him. Oh, worse. I never say this about people, but Max, there's something evil about the Prescott. No fucking shit. It has something to do with death. We're going to stop him. I just have to find Nathan's room number, get inside, and get the clues I need. Max, please let me help. I can get the number, and I'll text it to you, okay? Of course, Kate. I can't do this without you. Now it's time for Nathan's blackout for us. I always want to talk to you. We missed our taste test. That was so not cool. We need to plan, like, a tea shop tour of Portland. Oh, yes. And you could bring Lauren along, too. Lauren? What do you think of Lauren? Oh, smart and silly. He's got such a good heart. And he's a cutie pie. You know he likes you. So I've heard. He asked me to go to the drive-in, but I turned him down. Oh, really? You guys would be a perfect couple. Kate Marsh, matchmakers. I'm glad somebody is looking out for my little boy. Even angels need angels, Matt. I have to get back to our uh, mission. You don't know how much it means to see you again. I do. That's why I love you, Max. Thanks for taking care of my bunny. Hello, oh, Alice. I'll see her soon. I shall. The fuck is Alice? Well, um. Bye! Well, how is she? She's still taking care of me. Thank God. So at least she didn't jump God, off the roof. Did. Thanks. That's <laughs> why you said it. I don't like it. Pay a visit to Nathan Prescott. That little prick is not going to be glad to see us. You're not Nathan. You're not Nathan. You're, you're apparently Justin. You're not Nathan. And you're not Nathan. Go, oh, dude. Enjoy the big game, Zachary. I hope it's not the last. 
I'll make sure it's not the last. I can't lock on you. Yo! Trip him off! Damn it. Beyond science, man. Beyond science. Nothing is beyond science except for our lack of knowledge. We may never know why. But that I mean, like, yeah, time and space is fine. But science says that you cannot time travel, thus. You and Samuel both. So what's going on here? This is beyond explanation. Prophecy? When someone gave me nine hours, the very Friday, the very nearest Friday. So it is not true, though, considering that this is actually a Monday and not a Thursday. Time travel. What about wormholes and chaos theory? Like time travel stuff. The only wormholes in Arcadia Bay are underground, and chaos theory is just that. But if this is about time travel. We have another soldier in our army. Not after reading that Bradbury story, A Sound of Thunder. I won't give it away, but it involves dinosaurs and butterflies. Time is like a thread, Max. One tug and it all can unravel. Yeah. I was looking for Remington Prescott, and I thought he might be in your class. Mr. Prescott has no class at all, after his suspension. I didn't think we were friends. We're not. Hell no. Sorry, Miss Grant. You're an adult. You can swear, damn it. And I'm glad you did. So, how do you do so? Let's just say I try not to mad. But I did catch him storming off campus. That's what could happen. I hope you don't see him either. You're not the best student here, but you, you might be the wisest. I don't think surveillance would have helped Kate Marsh. Who needs surveillance when we have Max and Coffee? We did a wonderful thing. And now we have to make sure Kate gets the help she needs. Do you need to talk to a counselor? Uh, no thanks. Uh, no, no thanks, Miss Grant. I have my best friend and my parents. For now. I'm happy to hear that, Max. Just don't ever be afraid to talk to somebody, okay? I wish Kate had come to me. I had no idea what she was going through. Kate was drugged at the Vortex Club party and bullied by them until she ended up on the roof. How do you stop that? Shut down that damn Vortex Club for a start. I don't mean to get riled up, but that party should have been postponed. It's extremely tasteless given what happened with Kate. Anything to do with the Vortex Club? They don't get all their money from car washes. No, they don't. But membership has its privileges. Especially when your father is Blackwell's biggest sponsor. His elitist nonsense has no place here. You're right. I, I just wish this could be the school that I dreamed about before I came here. I hear you, Max. I love seeing you and Warren and all my students at your best here. All too young to be so you know, we're running out of time. We'll hear the rest of the sentence later. <laughs>